and welcome to another video. I'm in San Francisco where I've just got off TAP Air Portugal's brand new A330 900 Neo. It's got a new business class product and I was lucky enough to try it today. It's gonna to be a great video. Come with me and enjoy the journey. Something I want you guys to know from the start of the video. TAP offered and I accepted a free ticket on this route round trip to San Francisco from Lisbon. On this channel, you should assume that I pay the full public fare for every experience that I manage to film, except for the ones where I tell you explicitly that I was given it for free. TAP basically gave me the free ticket and said, enjoy yourself and make a video. And so I have, and it will contain undiluted, honest opinion about their product. I've used Lisbon Airport many times in the past, and it is far from a perfect hub for TAP. The airport is kind of small and badly laid out and it's handling too many passengers for its size. But even so, TAP are still able to provide a premium check-in experience at the far end of the terminal. Business class passengers and passengers with Star Alliance Gold are eligible for both priority check-in and fast track security. Thanks to my business class ticket, I was able to use the TAP lounge, which is on the mezzanine level in the main atrium in the center of the terminal. Before I dive too much into the airline's product offering, it's probably worth knowing that TAP are one of the cheapest full-service airlines out there that's in a major global alliance. The lounge they have here in Lisbon is a little uninspiring, but the food options are actually pretty good, especially at breakfast time. Given that Lisbon is not one of the major super hubs in mainland Europe, I'm quite happy that this lounge really just tries to do the basics well. It's got working Wi-Fi, PowerPoints, a decent food and drink selection, and importantly, provides a bit of respite from the main terminal. There's a full service bar at the end of the lounge and there's also some self-serve alcohol which is put out later on in the morning. It was a bit too early to indulge when I was flying. The lounge also has some apron and runway views but photography is quite difficult because of this breeze soleil which is in the way of the view. Subscribers and regular viewers will know that my favorite lounge amenity ever is a shower and there are some here at the TAP lounge in Lisbon. They're fairly basic, but importantly were available with no weight, even during the morning peak here at Lisbon. Toiletries and towels are supplied by the lounge. When I got to the gate, the aircraft was already there. An Airbus A330 900 NEO, NEO standing for new engine option. TAP are quite proud of actually being the first airline to fly this particular aircraft. TAP recently expanded to fly this San Francisco route this year, and it goes alongside their existing US routes like Boston, Miami, New York, and Newark. Welcome on board. New Pace 7A. Thank you very much. Thank you. The A330 900neo features TAP's brand new business class cabin. This is in a staggered 1 to 1 configuration. Odd numbered rows feature true window seats. These are staggered with even numbered rows where you can see that the seats are closer to the aisle, giving slightly less privacy. All seats have direct aisle access without the need to step over a seat neighbor, so there's no such thing as a bad seat in this new cabin. An amenity kit and menu were waiting at my seat on the console and in the seat itself was the bedding, which we'll take a look at a little bit later. Cheers.
we took off to the west from Lisbon, and now's a good time to have a look at today's route over to San Francisco. It's 5,676 miles and takes 11 hours and 35 minutes flying time. I quite like the staggered seats that TAP have installed. There are a couple of USB points and a universal charge socket, and there are several places to store your possessions during the flight. I particularly like this storage section in the console. Now, the door does feel a little bit flimsy, but it does mean that anything you have in there won't move out during turbulence. In terms of privacy, these true window seats do give quite a bit extra over the aisle ones because of the presence of this console. You can't really see the faces or make eye contact with any other passengers in the cabin. Elsewhere on the console is this, which looks a little bit like a spy camera, but it is in fact the reading light. In common with a few other business class seats out on the market, the table deploys from beneath the television. It's nice and sturdy and can be swiveled even when loaded and pushed away so that you can exit the seat even if you've got a meal in front of you. However, if you're on the larger side, you might find this narrow gap a little bit difficult to navigate. Finally, something common in economy but often missed out on business class seats, a fully adjustable headrest which slides up and down and has adjustable wings to support the neck and head. The airline has installed Wi-Fi on these new aircraft and there are various packages as you can see here. The real bonus is the free messaging which is available and worked consistently throughout the flight. I would like to see a package on there allowing internet access for the entire flight but it was just sold in 200 megabyte packages. Anyway, enough of the internet. The arrival of the hotel means just one thing. The food is about to arrive. Portugal has a really strong food and wine culture, and it is predictably where TAP have invested a lot of effort on their long haul flights. I didn't actually know this before I took the flight, but TAP have an online ordering service where you can pre-select your meals before you travel. This ability to pre-select main courses is an increasing trend across the airline industry and is really good because it prevents a lot of food waste. Something TAP surprised me with is the presence of an amuse-bouche. Now, this is a kind of mini starter before your starter just to appetize the mouth in preparation for the meal. And it's something that I usually associate with international first class or a very high-end business class. I was pretty impressed with all of the food on board this flight, but I have to say the starters were the real highlight of this meal. The soup and the marinated tuna tataki with marinated vegetables were absolutely superb, really tangy and very interesting to taste. For the main course, I went for the chicken curry, which was named in the menu as having been inspired by the celebrity chef on the front cover. And it was a pretty good choice as well. It was really tasty and not too hot for my British palate. Of course, you can't come to Portugal and not have some port, which is a fortified wine. It's wonderful and caps any meal perfectly. I was feeling really tired by this point, but still had a few more things to film before I wanted to get some sleep. So I ordered an espresso and it was very nice too and kept me going for an extra half an hour while I captured some more footage for this video. Noise cancelling headphones are supplied to go with the in-flight entertainment and they're pretty good too considering they're airline headphones. Now there's a moving map facility of course on board, but no tail cam or forward facing cameras on this aircraft. What there is, however, is a really good selection of content on the in-flight entertainment screens. There's something for everyone, from classic movies like Bullet and my personal favourite, Mrs. Doubtfire, to the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy, which would probably take you most of the flight to watch. One of the great things about flying from Europe to the west coast of the US is the flight times are pretty long and allow you to get a great sleep. In bed mode, the seat is very comfortable, although I wish the pillow supplied had been a little bit bigger. I managed a solid four hours of sleep, which was much needed because I'd been up since before 4 a.m. that morning to get this flight. Upon rousing out of my slumber with a green tea and a little snack, it was time to look at the amenity kit. These are really cute and supplied by the Portuguese toiletry maker Castlebell. I particularly liked the DVT socks that are included in this kit. They're really jolly and I've kept them at home. 
the second meal on this flight is served about an hour and a half before touchdown and it consists of cold cuts and fruit. Now this might seem a little bit mean on a flight which is about 11 or 12 hours long but you have to remember this flight lands at about 4 p.m local time in san francisco and you're going to be wanting a dinner before you go to bed that night anyway with all that concluded we made a spectacular approach into the bay area and i'll leave you with some shots from the approach The one place that TAP stands out above the competition is on price. Now, London to San Francisco is a super competitive route, but TAP offer this with a change in Lisbon for just £700 one way. And if you want to return, it can be done for about £1,300. Those are crazy prices, and I've also regularly seen these sorts of fares available, and sometimes even lower, on some of their other US routes too. I've had the privilege of flying a lot of business class routes to and from North America this year. And while TAP are not the best airline that I've flown, I have to say that given those prices, it's a really compelling alternative. They're full members of the Star Alliance. There are plenty of miles earning and spending opportunities in various programs. And the service and seat are really not bad at all. So there you have it, my review of TAP's A330-900neo business class. I'd really like to say thank you to TAP for inviting me along and giving me the opportunity to make this video for you. It was great and I really enjoyed the hospitality that the cabin crew gave me. Thanks again to you if you've been watching the video and stayed to the end. I hope you'll subscribe and watch the next video on this channel. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified of my future videos. But until then, I'll see you next time.